Hey guys, since I kind of gypped you off pretty much the last three weeks, again, not my fault. Um, figured I'd give you a little list video. Uh, again, it's just a list. It's not going to be a big review or anything. Just going to be, say, a couple words about each scent and maybe a note or two that's prominent and, you know, that's it. What it was, it's going to be 11 because fuck 10. I want to put 11 as my list. Actually, I got what it is is colognes that I, I think are retail worthy. <clears throat> like, if I couldn't find them anywhere else but a retail shop, I would pay it and pay it again. Um, a lot of these I did pay retail for because I get a lot of my stuff from shoppers just because I like the experience of shopping for them. Uh, and a lot of them I didn't, probably half and half, really. Um, but I would pay retail for them because I think they're really good. Um, definitely worth retail. But if you can get them cheaper, <clears throat> and some of them you can, then get them cheaper. Always get cheaper. <laughs> I got to start following my own advice. Because, <laughs> like I said, I bought a lot of these retail. <clears throat> but a lot of them, when I bought them retail, they were on pretty new and they were still, even on discounts, like 10 or $15 difference and shipping at that point i'm gonna have to wait pay a little shipping it pretty much rounds out to the same thing so but still follow my own advice uh i'm gonna start with the first one the one i just reviewed roberto cavalli i did buy another bottle online uh not retail thankfully big 100 or 110 mil bottle for like 35 bucks uh, I don't know the retail on any of these. I just know that most of them are running me $100 to $150 Canadian retail. So, but I, I would pay $150 for this. I would. I like it that much. I just do. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm going violet <clears throat> and saffron and honey. Um, you just watched my review of it. You should. It's probably the next video. Um, beautiful scent. Lasts a good long time. Classy. All that jazz. Uh, I'm going to do the next two last because I don't really like them but I pay retail for them simply because the ladies do a lot <clears throat> I included this Azero Lou Poor Home Lou just because I'm a fan of barbershop you all know that old school uh, but I, I, I have a hard time wearing them in the summer I find they are a little a little heavy this one is kind of just basically a summer version of a Zero Per Ohm. It's lighter. It's not as much barbershop ingredients in it, notes. But it's, it definitely smells like a Zero Per Ohm. You get that. Um, a lot of lavender. Um, but a lot of citruses and a white musk in this. That's very nice. <clears throat> um, performance, not the greatest. It is a, technically a summer scent. Uh, I get about five hours out of it, so... Yeah, just a light citrus barbershop. I really wanted one for the summer, and I finally found one. It took me a while. Um, Sauvage. I love Sauvage. I know a lot of you don't. A lot of you haters. You don't get any good reason not to like it, except for it's popular, so you don't want to like it, because you want to be hip. <laughs> but no, it is it is what it is. It's a blue scent, loaded down with Ambroxan. Women love it. Lasts forever and a day. Projects. You fucking Zeus on Mount Olympus can fucking smell you wearing this shit down at the bottom of the hill. You know, <laughs> like it's, it is what it is. Ladies love it too. I'm sorry, but they do. Uh, <clears throat> Iris and Black Vanilla. Oh, Jesus, class in a bottle. It falls into that Dior Ohm Intense, uh, Valentino Uomo type vibe. That some that powdery makeup the iris with that beautiful, beautiful vanilla base. Get a performer, projects really well, lasts all day, great. And again, another one, ladies. Just, these are all kind of what ladies love. So... But definitely a banger. Have a nice night out, date night type of scent. Shirt and tie or a t-shirt. It's very, very versatile. Um, wouldn't wear too much in the summer though. 
Uh, again, another one. Some of these hate, some of these love. The new Dioro. <clears throat> well, I never hated it at first. I, I was kind of a, eh, because I was expecting something different. Um, but it's just a woody, icy super. And woods, green, woody. I mean, it, it, it's great. It, it, it performs great. It lasts long. It, all that jazz. I've grown to actually really like it. Uh, I put it right up there with the original Dior Ohm. Uh, they're different scents, but my, my, how much I like them, I'm glad. It's kind of like many people have said it, and I'll say it. Dior had a success with uh, Ambroxan, so they wanted to do it with Isoe Super, and that's kind of what you get. This is an Ambroxan bomb, Isoe Super bomb. Uh, performance is great, all that jazz. You know, it's good, good scent. Uh, it got to grow on me, but that was more of my my uh my prejudice towards it being not Dior own <laughs> so but it really works really well um my favorite summer scent uh my favorite citrus scents i don't like a lot of citrus scents although I've, they've been growing on me uh, i guess my palate's changing a little bit that happens um uh john varveto sardis and pure uh just a light citruses and musk it's it is what it is a little bit of lavender in there for a powdery vibe but not a whole lot i get a summer scent but it doesn't perform bad for summer scent i get five or six hours out of it projects okay in the dead heat of the summer it is a banger though beautiful scent again girls love it um original ysly i have the perfume it's okay um a lot of people prefer that over this i like this over that just this nice amber wood, apple and amber wood kind of scent is the best I can describe it. It's a, it's got a sweetness to it and a, a, an aquatic feel almost, uh, with that amber fuzzy amber wood base, um, that comes out pretty much right musk and base and apple, musk and base, musk amber wood and apple seem to be the three dominant things I pick up. Um. Very nice scent. Again, a performer. Projects like a ooh, beast. I'm a motherfucking beast. Um, another one that took me a while to really warm up to. Um, Lavana Weed Alone Eau de Parfum. Uh, took me a while to lead up to it. I still don't like the first 10 minutes or so. I find everything's kind of jumbled. Um, and then it blooms like a rose. <laughs> and everything becomes, I'd almost say perfection. If it wasn't for that first 10 or 15 minutes, this would be a perfect kind of fall, spring evening scent. Um, leather, it's got some booze in there. A little hint of the original lot of weed alone with, you get from it. Um, again, performer, really good for lot of weed alone. I'm getting about seven or eight hours out of it. Projects not the greatest first hour. It's better than Lotta Weed alone. Holy fuck. But still, you only get about an hour, hour and a half. And it's only half decent projection. But it's not that type of scent. It's more of a... Ooh, what are you wearing? Let me get closer for smell. Ooh, you sexy. Yeah, it's that kind of scent. Uh, again, a, a beautiful scent. Uh, my favorite of all time... For smell reason, nostalgia reason, all that shit. Boom. Fahrenheit. I, I got to get a new bottle. I'm going to pay full price because you can't get Fahrenheit discounted anywhere, really. <sighs> that gasoline, violet, floral, woody. Mm, put hair on your chest, man. And the girls still go wild over us. Still to this fucking day. Might be old, but it's a classic. Like me. The next two <clears throat> aren't really anything I would wear for myself, but I've caught myself wearing them a few times when I've been going out to the little bit that I've gone out over the last two, two and a half years. Um, where there, there might be single ladies, maybe a little younger than me, that are kind of 
not like, not, not being gross, they're not like fucking 18, 20 years old. I mean, they're like, you know, late 20s, early 30s. And I want to kind of catch their attention. Arrow's Flame. One million lucky. Um, I actually had a girl over last week, week and a half ago. And uh, she was going through some of my colognes. And, and this is kind of what inspired the video, actually. I kind of got thinking, why these two? These are the two she picked that she liked the best. Uh, and uh, guess Los Angeles, 1980, whatever it is. But these are the two she picked the best. And I'm like, why? I got so many. Like, Lana Weed Alone, Mode de Parfum, Fahrenheit. Why? Gentlemen. She did like gentlemen, though. Um, it's just that fucking compliment factor we all want. That these are, this is a sweet pineapple y, I don't know, fucking, not pineapple, I don't know, just a sweet fruit kind of scent with a bit of almond in it. I find it almost sour, but. Girls love it. I'm not joking. Same as this. This is a this one I like way more than this. I mean, I I'd actually wear this and enjoy it myself, but it's not would be would, wouldn't be my first pick. <clears throat> but if I ever run out of either one of these two and I'm still single, I mean, if I got a lady, too bad. But if I if I if I'm still single and still trying to, you know, it'll be ten years from now, so I'd be fifty. That'd be disgusting. But I'm still trying to pick up on twenty year old girls. <laughs> Like the, the the all ladies of every age love them, but especially young girls love these two. And then this is that kind of just basically arrows, vanilla, lavender with a blast of citrus off the top. You know, I still was expecting spices in this. Didn't get me no 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 cinnamon nothing. And this one again, I don't know how to explain it. It's got a sweet fruit. Off the top, I don't know what it is. I pick it up as almost a pineapple with some a uh, little bit of nutmeg in it um, and some almond. I mean, yeah, sounds weird, but man, do they go nuts over this one? This one was her favorite. Oh, break them hot. And performance wise, you both know these are just fucking, both of them are just beasts. A couple sprays last you all day. You don't have to reapply. Yeah, so. Yeah. That's it, guys. Just an extra little video. Just because I gypped you pretty much the last three weeks. I still love you. I'll be back. Time to get back to normal, hopefully. Peace, love. Be good to each other.